and like I, this is ifarlabor.com so for the recent video we are going to uh, doing here the, uh, how could you uh, run the uh, uh, ifarlabor low line uh, 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 program uh, on this uh, uh, Raspberry Pi device so first thing yeah uh, please double check you already uh, download the, the latest version of uh, the source code so I'll uh, just double check yeah, and make sure yeah, you already got the coin here based on the low lock away yeah and, uh, this device mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, for the gateway and the node and then in our case we will uh, execute uh, running the this uh, gateway program is the uh, Python Python program and set uh, the Raspberry Pi login to the here we need to set the uh, our PHP uh, uh, page because we will set the uh, dashboard yeah dashboard so the PHP source code in here the PHP yeah let me use a full screen and make it more easy to watch <coughs> So in here, so uh, the main program is in here. The main program is here, and uh, uh, <coughs> before we use it, please set the, the yeah. Uh, please set uh, set the, the this file is called the connect .php. So in this files, you yeah you need to uh, double check and modify. First thing. Uh, make sure that your IP address. So in our case, in the local spare pi, we have a local host, and uh, in this database, yeah, uh, we need to create a, uh, either one. You can change the uh, the database user name, like the what we did is root and root, uh, yeah, and password and root and root. That's one way, uh, one solution. Huh? Uh, yeah, another one is uh, you just create another database. Now you use the name, the password to access your database. So in this case, I should change the uh, root and root. Yeah, just uh, uh, that's what we did to uh, open the <coughs> yeah. Okay. That's all. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, after that, yeah, control O to save, control S to see the uh, narrow uh, the tools. Um, but because all the source code in here, and we all also use the index in here, so depending on you, yeah, do you want to keep the original file? I mean, the, uh, I, mean I mean, the original uh, web page is uh, this one. Yeah, depend on you. Do you want to keep this one or not? Yeah, this depend on your choice. Huh? So in our case, I just uh, copy and paste to re uh, override the, the ori original files because we have same names called the index the PHP, and uh, we just copy the whole file to the Apache uh, yeah server. It's called uh, this one. And then uh, that's all. Yeah, copy it. Oh, yeah, permission. If I have permission from a place, use a sudo. Huh? Yeah, perfect. So we just use a sudo and to copy and the whole file. Okay, so uh, let's move to the uh, Apache web server yeah, working folder here. And let's see what's going on there. And uh, I will recommend to re remo uh, uh, remove the original one, I mean the index.html. But otherwise, when you refresh the screen, in this case, yeah, if you rec refresh the screen, the system will still uh, run into this file. So we just uh, change the name, um, change the name. Uh, okay, I use ID. 
In this the HTML, I just change to another way. Another name is called the voice support, like the backup. Okay, your permission. Then this means I need to use sudo. Okay, Let's double check. Yeah, perfect. So let's uh, refresh uh, this uh, working page in this page. So right now you can see that, that the whole system is refresh and. Uh, And look like it. Oh, it's done. Doing something. You also can use the uh, eye browser. So just refresh it, the eye browser, so you can see the. Uh, yeah, perfect. Yep, you can see that this data, and this data is totally from the database so far. Yeah, so this data is uh, uh, from the database which we did. Uh, just uh, upgrade the database from here. See the data is from the here, and uh, for the next video, we are uh, I will uh, going to demonstrate uh, how could you uh, dynamically update this um, this uh, data, uh, and uh, uh, get the data from the uh, Lola Lola. Okay, so see you next video with Icebox Lab. Bye bye.